today I've got the opportunity to talk to Joy. Joy is currently based in Bangor and part of Mosaic Church and she has offered to serve us as a group of churches as our digital development support worker. So Joy, great to be able to welcome you. Um, why don't you just start by telling us a little bit about your background, how you became a Christian, and maybe what you've been doing in recent times as well. When I was growing up, uh, my family moved around quite a bit. Um, I was born in Jamaica, but I moved when I was eight. And after that, for after five years, we moved to Barbados and lived there for four years. And then we moved back to Jamaica for my last year of high school. And that was before coming to Wales for university. Um, so over time, I had to get used to kind of starting over and meeting new people and making friends and being away from friends as well. Um, so I gave my life to Christ when I was eight years old at a church summer camp in Bermuda. Um, but since then, I guess I've had my ups and downs with my relationship with God. And I used to really struggle with the fact that I didn't have that one place I could call my home, um, like most of the people around me did. Um, I felt like I didn't really belong anywhere, but uh, God has had such a big impact on my life that I now know that I'm able to find my identity in Him rather than a country or a place. Fantastic. That's a, that's a great testimony. Yeah. So I recently finished my degree at Bangor University. Um, I did a three-year course in product design, and I've been doing some graphic design for the church here as well. Brilliant. What sort of prompted you to want to offer to serve in this way and take on this role over this coming year? Being the publicity coordinator at uh, Bangor University Christian Union while I was in university uh, for two years, I found that I really enjoyed doing graphic design and digital design, uh, making the CU more known uh, to the students in Bangor. So after I finished my degree, I felt God was kind of calling me to take the skill a little further in helping uh, the churches in this way. Brilliant. Yeah. Have you had much connection with us as a wider group of churches? What's that look like for you so far up to now? I was part of the leadership, the first uh, meeting that we had as the Leadership Academy, and um, I got to meet a lot of different people from the different uh, parts of the, the different churches in the sphere. Um, uh, yeah, it was a great experience just to meet different people who kind of meet in the same place as people who ha kind of had the same drive to serve God as I did yeah. and kind of find my kind of niche in the way that I can serve God in my local church. Very good. As you sort of step into this role, which officially starts at the start of September, um, what are you most excited about and maybe what are you most nervous about as well? I'm very excited slash nervous about meeting more new people and getting to work alongside them, helping uh, the different churches to be more known in their local areas. Brilliant. Yeah. So Joy is taking on this role. Um, it's a it's a voluntary role that she has chosen to give herself to. But we have said that we thought people would have a heart to want to support her uh, in the midst of this. So she's living by faith. She's getting married at the end of the month. So it may well be that um, there's something that the Holy Spirit prompts you to do is to say, well we'd like to give a little bit into her support fund and uh, just help her to live uh, day to day, week to week and month by month. But beyond the finances, any particular ways um, that you would feel like people could support you and you value people's support? I would really um, be grateful for people to so support me in uh, your prayers um, as I and w whatever other way you feel led just to help me settle into this new season of life. Yeah, basically just prayers um, for me to take that extra step wherever is needed in helping different people in different ways and just stepping out of my comfort zone and um, being more confident in um, all that God is calling me to do. Great. Like the Life Church family will look forward to welcoming you and probably your new husband, Elliot, at some point. If you get the opportunity to invite Joy and Elliot to be in your home, to have a meal with them, let's take that opportunity. Joy, and we'll see what God does. Thanks for joining us today. Yes, thank you very much for having me. <laughs>